NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has done it again, taking incredible pictures of the Ring Nebula, one of the most well-known instances of a planetary nebula. If you are interested in keeping up to date with the space-related content, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. The Southern Ring Nebula, one of Webb's earliest photographs, is similar to the Ring Nebula, which shows intricate structures of a dying star. A planetary nebula is an area of cosmic gas and dust that was created from a dying star's shed outer layers. Planetary nebulae are not related to planets despite their name. These red giants are created when stars with intermediate masses, those with masses greater than 80%, but less than eight times those of the sun die. The dying star will keep ejecting gas while, at the same time, its remaining core contracts and temporarily resumes emitting energy. The first planetary nebula was discovered in 1764 by Charles Messier, named Messier 27. The gas is ionized by this energy, which means that its atoms and molecules get charged and start to emit light. The glowing material is referred to as a planetary nebula. As a result, planetary nebulae are categorized as emission nebulae and have nothing to do with planets. A historical misclassification led to the erroneous term's creation. When astronomers gazed through their less powerful telescopes at the colorful spectacle of planetary nebulae 250 years ago, they believed they were viewing gas planets. A very short-lived stage of the star life cycle, planetary nebulae have an average lifespan of only 20,000 years. James Webb Space Telescope captured photographs of Messier 57, often known as the Ring Nebula, using both its near-infrared camera and its mid-infrared instrument, and the results reveal amazing intricacies. It is a bright ring of gas in the constellation of Lyra that was created by the debris that a lower-mass star ejected during its death. This ring nebula is an ideal spot to start exploring some of the planetary nebula's wonders. It can be seen with binoculars on a clear summer evening from the northern hemisphere and much of the southern. It is close by, around 2200 light years away, very bright. Firstly, the European Space Agency painted a beautiful depiction of the angle at which we observe the ring nebula. The team noted that in this new photograph, we are looking almost directly down one of the structure's poles, and the brightly colored material barrel is pointing away from it. Remember that this scene actually exists in three dimensions. This means that there is a huge amount of lower density material packed inside the center of the nebula, which ESA compares to a distorted donut. In the middle of the whole structure lies a star on its way to its ultimate fate, it is on the verge of transforming into a corpse star, or white dwarf. White dwarves are known by their ominous name because they are the final stage of star evolution. The colorful ring portion of the ring nebula visible in the new James Webb image is the result of the dying star appearing to be ejecting its outer shells of gas during this stellar death process. The James Webb Telescope which is located roughly a 1.6 million kilometers from Earth, was able to shed light on aspects of the Ring Nebula's complex structure that researchers had never previously been able to decipher. Both of the high-resolution photos demonstrate how the nebula's ring region is loaded with hydrogen gas clumps. The ring contains more than 20,000 clusters that are each roughly the size of the Earth, according to astronomers. Additionally, gas spikes can be seen radiating from the ring in both photos. These are believed to be complicated molecular trails that can only develop in deep space. The spikes show where the inner globules create shadows that prevent UV light from disrupting the formation of molecules. Concentric arcs of gas can also be seen in the nebula's outermost region, especially in the Miri image. This suggests that the star went through heating and cooling cycles before a last heating period stripped the majority of its atmosphere off the star. These arc spacing indicated that the cycles took place every 280 years. Because there is no nuclear process that might produce this cycle behavior, 
it is rare. Additionally, astronomers believe that the central star has an unobserved partner orbiting it at a distance roughly equivalent to that of Pluto from the Sun. These results wonderfully highlight the fact that the potential of Webb, once an ambitious dream, has unquestionably been realized. The James Webb task is to reveal objects in the universe that are lighted in the infrared area of the electromagnetic spectrum objects that are much more advanced than what our unaided eyes can see and, in fact, objects that are beyond some of our most potent tools. Since the Ring Nebula neatly fits in the frame of view of Webb's near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument detectors, Wesson said, we realized that Webb observations would provide us with invaluable insights. The team discovered a constrained band of emission emanating from particular molecules within the ring known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAH. In order to go into some more technical details of the finding, PAHA are molecules that contain carbon, but crucially for the current James Webb findings, it was not anticipated that they would emerge in the nebula under study. It's also important to note that this isn't the first time the James Webb Space Telescope has focused on the Ring Nebula. Recently, Webb captured a high-resolution photograph of this region of the universe, and researchers added mesmerizing green and purple filters to produce a really magnificent scene for us to view. The delicate features of the nebula's structure were also better understood because to such imaging, a significant concern raised by these latest web observations is how a common, spherical star was able to create a nebula this complex. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating space-related content. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.